covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. It turns out free security solutions may come at the cost of all of your browsing data. Avast's free antivirus tracker, tracker tracks users' online behavior and mines the data for companies like Microsoft, Pepsi, and Google. Windows users should know by now that you're walking into a field of landmines if you run your computer without protection from malware. So most people use antivirus software to make sure that they get some much needed privacy and security protections while using their computers online. And many, to the tune of about a half billion users, turn to free antivirus products, thinking that there's no reason to pay for protection since there are programs available for free. However, free security suites can sometimes hoard your browsing data and other details and sell them to third parties. Mm Mm-hmm. This is the case with the popular free antivirus from Avast, which is putting the privacy of around 400 million people at risk. At a time when high-profile tech executives are calling on governments to impose more stringent privacy rules, there's nothing like another reminder that everyone is fighting to get a hold of your habits, preferences, and pretty much any other data that can be used by advertisers to target you more easily. According to a joint investigation by Vice and PC Mag that involves leaked contracts and other comp- company documents, Avast, along with its AVG subsidiary, have been keeping track of what users did online while using the free software they distribute. The scheme involves JumpShot, a company that, quote, provides insights into consumers' online journeys by measuring every search, click, and buy across 1,600 categories from more than 150 sites, including Amazon, Google, Netflix, and Walmart, end quote. Installing Avast's free antivirus automatically adds in a browser extension that collects information on your internet activity and sends it to JumpShot, packed and tagged with the unique identifier. Avast data collection includes searches on Google and Google Maps, YouTube videos, LinkedIn searches and profile visits, and even what users view on adult websites. This gets sent to JumpShot's customers like Google, Microsoft, Pepsi, Sephora, Home Depot, Yelp, Intuit, and many others. Avast says it doesn't track any sensitive information like personal identification, phone numbers, or email. The company also insists that as of July 2019, they had begun implementing an explicit opt-in choice for all new downloads of their AV and are now prompting existing free users to make an opt-in or opt-out choice, a process which they claim will be completed in February 2020. Okay, opt-in? Like... Do you like, want like yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm installing this free antivirus. Yes, 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 next, 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 next. Okay, you just opted in. Yeah. Bam, we have all your stuff. <sighs> and we're selling it to everyone. Mm-hmm. Why does this come as a surprise to people? No, it's not a surprise, Jeff. It's just proven. Mm-hmm. Free is never free. Well, exactly. I learned that as a kid. Mm. Nothing comes for free. Mm -hmm. If it's free, there's always something attached to it. Mm -hmm. Has Facebook not taught us anything? (laughs) They've taught us a lot, Jeff. We've learned so much. You know what? You know what I've learned by Facebook? Mm. That people just still use it. Yep. (laughs) People just still do it. Yep. Jeff, you're still on Facebook. Yeah. I I am still on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. It's it's a necessary evil. But I, I, I don't use Avast for this reason. Anytime I see a free virus software, I go, uh uh-uh. Antivirus. Antivirus, yeah. Like, (laughs) I'm not touching it. That's why I do use subscription-based services, Mm -hmm. because when you're putting money behind it, there's a company that's going to actually stand behind their product as opposed to collecting your user data. Yeah, but there's Kaspersky and McAfee, too. Sure. Well, exactly, yes. But you could also get free versions of those. (laughs) Okay. All right. But putting money at it doesn't necessarily mean it's good. But it's right. much better than, hey, get this for free. Uh, it's like yeah, the, yeah, because yeah. you're paying for it somehow. Yeah. So, yeah, the I, free versions of these products are definitely going to have some 
some caveats to them for I, sure. I'm just wondering yeah. how long before we see some sort of uh, lawsuit. Yeah, I don't because know. Because the interesting you thing... In. You opted in. And, and opted it's in. a cop-out. Because, well, yeah, no, you no, the yes opt-in wasn't until 2000... Was it 19? Yeah, but they've retroactively added it to the system. Right, but everybody's anything, just going to hit okay. Opted, okay. Okay, 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 okay. that, yeah. you know... Like, okay. I do! Oh, I got another pop-up, okay. Yeah. I'm the guy that reads the fine print before I sign up for something. Yeah. You're, you're not you're, you're not the average user, though, Jeff. I know I'm not the average yeah. user. That's I'm just the suspicious the one. Yeah. <laughs> So many people are doing this. So many people don't really realize what's happening. Yeah. And that's now you know though, folks. Now you know. Yeah.